I have Asher here. I'd like to discuss some of Asher's training. And the first thing I'd like to talk about is how Asher is learning to wait at a doorway. I don't want Asher to enter or exit any doorway without an invitation to do so. That's obviously for his safety. So when I get ready to enter this room, I'm going to turn to Asher. I'm going to make my hand like a traffic cop. I'm going to tell him, Asher, wait. I'm going to be prepared to block him with my foot if I need to. What a good puppy. Okay, come on in. And so he's waited for like that. I'm going to invite Asher in. I have some items on the ground that I don't want Asher to have. I'll see if he'll go after any of those items. And I'll demonstrate how to call him off of something that you don't want him to have. went over he put his nose on that package he heard the noise which means no or stop to him and he retreated and looked at me and that's when I'm going to tell him good boy Asher you did exactly the right thing and reward him with something he can have affection and a dog toy now if Asher continued to go after that package or any of the items that I have on the ground I could increase the intensity of that noise which means no or stop to him first and then if Asher still wasn't listening that would be when I take my two fingers I give him a little poke on the side of the neck. That little poke simulates a bite like a mother might do with an unruly puppy. But Asher says, oh, I've got it. Those items aren't for me. I'm gonna come over here and get a good boy, Asher. A job, very well done. Good puppy. 